I chose Alana for ninth grade student of the month because she's a very responsible and respectful young lady and she's very a, a diligent worker in my classroom. Alana is always striving to be a better artist, an improving artist. Um, she's always asking for help in terms of ways that she can prove as an artist. And then also um, in times that Alana has been absent from school, she's very responsible that she emails me, um, she'll stop in during lunch and learn, follow up on things she might have missed, um, and just always is checking in just to make sure that she's getting the best she can from the course that she's taking. Alana is very passionate. Uh, she's also very thorough in what she does in and out of the art classroom. And she's very friendly and outgoing. Like One thing I love about Alana is that she will talk to anybody and everyone, um, especially in my classroom space. Uh, she loves talking to different people um, and meeting new friends. She's very open and outgoing. I love that about her. So this is Alana's first year at Lenape. And just in my class alone, um, she makes a big impact in here because she always is willing to help other students that have questions. So there will be a student she might not even be friends with outside of the classroom. Um, they might not get a concept or a technique that I might introduce and she's willing to show them or simplify it in her way uh, to make sure that they understand or grasp the concept. I would say Alana has a strong voice. Um, people listen to her, um, especially in my classroom. She can command an audience and um, she's not afraid to speak her mind. Um, it was mainly because every time I see Jade, um, she's incredibly positive and works hard and um, seems to genuinely be interested in others. Well, I mean, that positive attitude is related to it. Uh, she smiles constantly um, and seems to really mean it. You know, she seems to actually be happy to be in class, to be in the hallway, to be with her friends, wherever she is. Um, well, I would say she's intelligent. I would say she's um, definitely uh, good at communicating. Um, I would also say that she seems to be a good friend and a good leader. Well, I don't know about other years because I've only known her this year, but I do definitely see in the classroom um, she's really good at including others, um, talking to different people, um, but also being a good kind of role model. Well, it's obvious that other students respect her and look up to her. I don't think she's necessarily trying to be a leader, but she's definitely admired by other students just because she's got good character. Julie's been a member of the JRTC program for almost three years now, and it's been amazing watching her grow from the young person that she was when she entered here out of Harrington to where she is now as a key leader within our program. Julia volunteers for everything, whether it's community service at the fall festival or as part of our academic team to compete uh, against all the other JRTC programs throughout the world. She's also a key member of our drill team and is a member of the Raiders despite any type of challenge she has with physical fitness she has grown immensely and pushes herself through the limit. Caring and reliable. There's no doubt that she cares for JRTC program, her fellow students, her teammates. She's never worried about being the hero. She just worries about helping others. And reliable, whether it's coming in during the summer to help the program grow, or cleaning up the classroom, or making sure we do our best, I can count on Julia. Well, she sets the example. Every day, she can prove that even a quiet person such as Julia can have a big impact on others. She's always there, like I said before, helping out, volunteering, and being selfless every day. Building upon everything I just told you, again, she is not afraid to get involved. She's not afraid to lend a hand, and she gives wise judgment and decisions at all times. I know I can count on her. I nominated Erin because she's the type of conscientious student uh, that comes in every day prepared, ready to learn, uh, willing to participate, uh, help others, 
uh, and just the consistent way that she goes about her everyday business in the classroom. And as I've gotten to know her, uh, I've learned more about her as an individual, what her interests are and how much she contributes to the Lenape Marching Band. Uh, and playing the percussion in the school play and those types of outside activities. Uh, outside of what I just mentioned, I you know, a lot of those characteristics came into play, but I think an area where she's really grown is um, my pushing her to kind of come out of her comfort zone a little bit, uh, willing to kind of extend herself and take a risk in the classroom and answering questions, uh, helping others, whereas I think her normal disposition in a classroom is a little bit more reserved. So she's really grown in kind of taking those risks to, to help others, to offer offer her own, her own insight. Uh, again, I mentioned some of those traits, uh, the conscientiousness, the hardworking approach that she takes. Um, you know, to go beyond that, she's very friendly. Um, I noticed that she has a lot of friends. She's always helping others and greeting people with a smile and a hello. Uh, she's courteous, she's respectful. And, uh, you know, she's, di she's, she's a unique individual. She has a lot of different interests which, which, uh, which make her unique. Uh, she helps other students in class from time to time, like I said, um, especially a few students in particular when they miss time. She's willing to kind of lend her materials to catch them up. Um, you know, all of her, all her involvement in the band through the years, you know, our mar marching band's very successful here. Um, the play that she plays percussion in, the play at, year in and year out, is really something that I enjoy attending to see students out, outside of their normal student roles. So, you know, she's taken the opportunity to maximize her, her time outside of the classroom to really get involved, uh, which, I think, which I think most students should do. Uh, fulfilling the obligations of a leader. Uh, I know that she's expressed how she's become a leader within the band as a senior and um, you know I know that she plans on getting into education music education in particular so she's taken on roles outside of school to teach students music um, so we've had conversations about how rewarding that can be um, and like I said she's a leader in our classroom you know she models the work ethic and the behavior that that I'm looking for and that what any any teacher would look for